Hey Fantastic You, welcome back. If you're new to the channel, welcome, glad to have you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so we can be friends. Today we are going to do a card. This is a brand new card on Cricut Design Space. So this is a starter card. So it's the bare bones of the card and then you get to add whatever you need to finish off the card. So as you can see on the screen, it's just some cutouts and the envelope. But to hunt it down, we're gonna go into projects. And right now it's on the first page, but it's called the Bridge Card Starter Project. This one right here. So you can see in that photo that it kind of pops up and kind of makes like a, kind of like an H. <laughs> So, but we're going to design a card around this starter pack. So I was thinking, let's do a wedding card. So first thing we want to do is we'll go into images. We're going to go into image sets and you're going to search, create a friend. Make sure to spell it correctly. So here we've got these cute little mini people. <laughs> I'm not sure what you would want to call them, but there's a gentleman in a tuxedo. We'll keep scrolling down. And I must have missed it because there's also a lady in a wedding dress. There she is right there. So let's bring those into the canvas. So we're just going to hide the rose from the, the young man here. So just on your layers panel, just hide those. And other than that, I like the colors on these ones, so we're going to click flatten. We'll do a print and cut. Let's get them sized up. We'll do 2.75 for the height. Do the same thing for the young man. So there, we've got our lovely couple there. So we need something for the center part there. So I was thinking we could do a wedding cake. So I'm going to choose this one on the second row. It's pretty simple and I think it will look really nice. So I like how that looks, so I'm going to click flatten. Again, we're going to do print and cut, make this as easy as possible. And now we need something for the banner. So how about congratulations? So I like this one here. It's got that cute little heart, but we're gonna change the color of the heart because it doesn't go with the purple. So hunt down the heart on the layers panel, highlight it, and then just switch it to purple. You can do any color obviously that you want, but before you flatten anything, you have to change the color. You can't do it once you've flattened it. So let's click flatten. Let's also get a rectangle. I'm gonna send that to the back so we can see what we're doing and we're gonna make it white. Let's highlight both of them, click align center and we'll click, you can click flatten, attach, whatever you need to do. But right now, that's what it's gonna cut out. Now we need to resize it to fit on our banner. So we're going to unlock it. Just fiddle around with how you want this to look. I think right there, is good so I'm gonna leave it 
at that. You can leave it unlocked or you can lock it. It, it doesn't matter at this point. But I'm going to get this printed out, cut out, and then we'll put it together. Here is everything cut out. It's pretty simple to put this one together. Uh, we're going to start by layering some of these pieces. Move our groom and bride out of the way. So I'm going to use craft glue to glue the glitter onto the glitter. It's just going to be easier. Don't want to put too, too much on, but enough that it will adhere. Okay, put that off to the side. Let's get our folds put in. So two score lines on either side of the main part of the card. You fold inwards. and you fold outwards. So it ends up like that. So I'm gonna open it back up. We're gonna attach our pieces there. I am gonna use my regular tape for that. And this is easier to do once you have the score lines folded. Here's one. Let's get the other one done. Okay. Get the cake attached. This is curling up a little bit and that is from the glue. I'm going to go a little higher on the cake and the main reason for that is that bar is going to be going across the bottom. Okay, only a couple steps left. We'll attach our back part of the card now. So we'll get this lined up. See, that's looking pretty just on its own. Now we're going to attach our bride and groom. So I'm going to attach them kind of like that. I just want them peeking through a little bit.
definitely hard to get double-sided tape on just half of our gentleman here. Got a little bit poking through there, so we're gonna move that. And I want them right up at the top. There. Now for our bride, she'll be a little easier. Okay, our last part is attaching our banner, and this one I am gonna do with glue. So it's gonna get attached kind of like that, but I'm probably gonna come up a little higher, just block the bride and the groom just a little bit. This is easier to do one side at a time, let it dry, then do the next side. What did we say right about there? So line it up along the edge. You want it to be as straight as possible. I'm gonna let it dry and then we'll do the other side. Okay, we will glue the other side. So this one gets a little trickier. There we go, we'll let that dry and then we'll do the final reveal. So here is the final reveal. I did make the envelope on this one just because I had the perfect paper to go with it. Got all these fun little words that you could do for a lot of things, but they make sense to go with a wedding card. Our own little world, magical, journey, inspire. But let's open this up. So the card just folds like that to go into the card, and sorry, into the envelope, and then it just pops back up like that. So you could do some 3D look on this if you wanted to. You could make the cake three-dimensional at the foam tape, or even this banner would probably look pretty good if it was raised a little bit, but I think this card has turned out fantastic. I'm super happy with it. And I do have some more ideas for this bridge template. I'll get those videos up hopefully sooner than later. But thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch. I really appreciate it. And I appreciate you. Until next time.